one more quarterfinal to come here at the Denisa Denmark Open in the city of Ordenza. It's just gone 11 o'clock at night and one more quarterfinal and it features the reigning Olympic champion and four-time former champion here at the Denmark Open. The number five seed Chen Long up against last year's beaten finalist and number two seed this year Chu Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. So as far as the draw is uh, concerned, we are guaranteed three of the four semi-finalists will have contested a Denmark Open men's singles final before. The only one that hasn't is Victor Axelsson, the number seven seed and the only home player. We're also guaranteed four players from four different nations in the semi-final stage. That's always uh, lovely to see a, a mix of players from different countries in the latter stages of events. So who will join the defending champion, the 2015 beaten finalist Sugiato and Victor Axelson? Will it be Chen Rong or will it be Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei? Chen Long, winner of this title in 2011, 2013, 14, and 15. The world number two, the beaten finalist last year, Chou Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. Lost out to Kento Momota a year ago in a thrilling final that lasted an hour and 17 minutes. Well, if you're a Chou Tian Chen fan, I suggest you just cover your eyes for the next 30 seconds and perhaps close your ears as well because this will be the eighth meeting between these two players and all seven previous encounters have been won by the reigning Olympic champion Chen Long. The last time they played against each other was in last year's Thomas Cup in Bangkok and Chen Long winning in three games, as you can see. It was an hour and 23 okay. minutes in Bangkok a year ago. Yes. The 21-14 in the deciding game. Two extremely physical players. Both of these men, extremely strong legs, both very, very good movers around the court. Both have incredible defences. But for Chen Long, 30 years of age, recently became a father for the first time. Did spend 76 consecutive weeks as world number one, but currently number five. This is his ninth appearance here at the Denmark Open and his seventh quarter final. For the last two years, he's lost in the first round. Last year to Unkar Long of Hong Kong, China. In the first round, he needed three games to beat Lisi Jacques of Malaysia. That was an hour and 12 minutes. And then in the second round against Samir Verma. Nice to see Samir Verma back after injury problems. So to Chou Tian Chen, the number two seed, 
enjoying his 11th consecutive week at his career high of two. Born in Taipei, and he's appearing in his seventh consecutive Denmark Open and his third consecutive quarter-final because not only was he beaten in the final last year, he was a semi-finalist in 2015 and a quarter-finalist in 2017. So in the first round, he needed three games to beat Lu Guanzhu of China. There are eight minutes for that. And then against Rustavito of Indonesia yesterday. That was 46 minutes for 21-17, 21-14. So Cho Tien Chen is having a remarkable year. He's been in four finals in his last seven tournaments. In fact, every other tournament, he's reached the final. Over his last seven, that is. So Heidi Marot from Denmark and Henrik Boas, the service judge, Well, Chen Long, he hasn't won a title this year. He's been in a couple of finals, the Malaysian Masters 500 and the Malaysian Open 750. The only finals he's been in have been Ladies in Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chu Chen Chen, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> And on my left, Chen Long, China. Chen <laughs> Long to serve. Lowell. Play. So the four time former champion, Chen Long, getting this quarter final underway against last year's beaten finalist, the number two seed, Chorty and Chen. Over. One, love. Well, since they last played at the Thomas Cup last year, I think this man has improved considerably and certainly his confidence I don't think has ever been higher than it is right now. And since the Thomas Cup, I think Chen Long has actually One, been struggling four. a little bit. My colleague... Morton Frost has said on several occasions he expects him to, or has expected him to start his build up towards the defence of his Olympic title, but it just hasn't materialised so far. Two, one. Both the finalists from last year on the number one and two seeds oh. this year. So they're seeded to meet in the final once again. Now I can tell you, I've been checking the record books. And the last time we had two consecutive men's singles finals here featuring the same two players was 1997 and 1998. Dong Jiong of China against Peter Gader. And Dong Jiong won in... 97 and Peter Gader then beat him the following year. So it's some considerable time since we've had the same two players contesting the men's singles final in consecutive years.
getting back the net court with a perfect cross court Service over. net shot. That is just unbelievable. How on earth did he do that? In fact, he got the net cord as well. Gets back a net cord and plays another net cord. That's outrageous. Chen Yu and Xia Xuanzhe, the two Chinese coaches. Say it's a, a pity that so many of the fans have departed the arena after the Gimkas match. Well, I suppose it is now approaching 20 past 11 at night. But with two wonderful badminton players battling it out, it is disappointing. It's not a full house. Victoria Cow. Chotian Chen's physio. shouldn't be allowed to challenge be because he in. looked at his coach and asked and then confirmed he wanted to challenge. Can't be asking your coach whether you want to challenge or not. title of the last year for Seven, the Olympic champion six. and that was the French Open last year. Very nearly 12 months ago. Over. One week shy of 12 months ago. Seven. The short lift with a good net shot. Eight, seven. Not where Cho Tian Chen's feet are. Nowhere near the double service line, let alone near the back of the court. That's why he was able to play the winner. Oh. 
Every step. Three titles this year for this man. Indonesian Super 1000, the Nine, Thailand 500. Seven. And his oh. third home event, Chinese Taipei 300 event. That's very good. shot yes and having played the great net shot Cho Tien Chen was ready to pounce took it very late that's great control Challenge here from Chu Tian Chen. Chu Tian Chen challenge called in. Yeah, that's a great challenge. That is a fabulous challenge. So to the mid game interval. Three point Interval. advantage for Chu Tian Chen. Chinese coaches find this here at this event. Yeah, Eleven eight. Eight.
Yeah, it looked to me as if he changed his mind there. Three points since the mid-game interval and all three points to Chen Long. shot from Chen Long, almost a little topspin or slice to try and play that across court, chopped up underneath the shuttle. Great defence from Chorty and Chen. That is good follow up from Chen Long. Quick forward. that challenge, Chow Tien Chen. That looked perfect to me. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Oh no, this is another great challenge from Chow Tien Chen. My goodness me. Two wonderful challenges. just out of the reach of Chu Chen Chen. <laughs> oh, such skills, such touch. from Chen Long. Yeah, his precision and his skill at the front of the court is amazing. 15-14. Fourteen. 
four straight points. And eight of the last 11 points since the mid-game interval. Oh my goodness. Nineteen fourteen. Look at that athletic play though. Leaping round the head. Oh, that's way long of the back line. Fourteen twelve up he was, Cho Tien Chen. He Line finds judge. himself 19-14 down. Broken the strength of his racket, but still managed to control the final shot. And on a run of eight straight points, point the four time 14. former champion, Chen Long, has six game point opportunities. as a sideways drift. Just to finish off this opening game.
Well, three game points have been well saved. 20. On wide this time fourth game point opportunity and the four-time former champion Chen Long takes the opening game 21-17 Got to give huge credit to Chen Long for that run of points from 2014 down to 2014 up. Nothing quite played Play. quite brilliantly, especially on the net. of how many net cords from Chen Long so far today. Wish I'd been keeping count. opportunity yeah.
good smash. Powerful smash. And aimed at the body. Oh, chin long. Two, three. Slightly across the body. Towards that right hip. Perfect placement. on every Chen challenge Chen so challenge far as Cho Tian Chen. Challenged twice in the opening game and he was right both times. Oh, but he's wrong that time. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge right. remaining. So it's over. Four, three, play. Oh, goodness me, he gave that some air. He's trying to get it coming down tight to the net, and it worked quite brilliantly. Just watch how high he hits this, though. Look at that. But he gets it so close to the net. Predictable and a little short. That straight left from Cho Tian Chen. Very, very quick. Chen along there, putting the pressure on that. This reaction here. Look at that backhand. Keeping it going down. Yeah, nice. 
Can you go for full power? Just went for placement. Seven, all. the wrong way, didn't he? Move it over. I think that's the first oh. service error of the match. Oh, that's super. Oh, goodness me. Just that little turn of the racket head at the last moment. Keep it straight down the line. Nine, that's eight. great deception. Watch this. Yeah. A little reverse slice on that. Tremendous. This is good tactical awareness from Chorty and Chen because in the opening game I was singing the praises of Chen Long's net play. Now Chorty and Chen is taking him on. He's trying to get to the net first, which he managed to do in that rally, and then stood his ground, ready to pounce. approval from physio Victoria Cal. Thank you. Landed in. On sided. No. I suspect the line judges may be a little bit tired, but. <laughs> Jen Long saying, oh, we both know it's in, mate. Beaten finalist Cho Chen Chen. He has the advantage at the mid game interval. Uh, but then he had the advantage in the opening game and couldn't convert. Had a three point advantage in the opening game. And a two point advantage here in the second. Okay. 
基本上就是象牙球比较多，就是象牙就开始抢，对对对，把往前盯住，不要退，盯住就好。啊，这一块抓住，动起来。Eleven nine. Yeah, we both agreed to change the shuttle. Mutual respect. Eleven nine, play. Taking more initiative now is Chiu and Chen, dictating the pace more. Many of them, me can't believe it. similar pattern wise to the opening game isn't it Brilliant. Great defence from Cho Jian Chen. Desperation defence, but it was worth it. Thank you. Back of court, please. Fourteen, eleven. A super angle. Played with precision. If Chotian Chen hadn't got his racket to this, that would have landed. 
pretty much on the line. Well, I remember this exact score line in the opening game. Chen Long, 12-14 down. What happened? He promptly won the next eight 12, points to 14. go 2014. celebration from Chou Tian Chen. I think his mind was back in the opening game. Felt the necessity to move the 15, score along 12. so that he didn't fall into the same trap as game number one. Oh, that is just terrific from him. Jen Long. 14, 15. There isn't much space down that forehand side. Just threaded it down the line. got the deflection on his first smash and it meant that it was awfully difficult for Cho Tien Chen to readjust his shot 15, and play an accurate oh. shot there which he wasn't able to do a simple opportunity to put it away so back level Chen Long 15 or oh. Two consecutive rallies, that's cool. 16 15. Thundered off the top of the tape. shot my goodness well it had to be because Jen Long was ready to pounce
by Gunness. Was that the shuttle or was it his racket that touched the net? Let's have another look at that. No, it was the shuttle. Was the shuttle. So it's yet another net cord. This is a big, big point. Oh, sensational. That is great skill from both men. Look at this. Line judge? No, line judge? Yeah. Thank you. So 17 all. 17 all. Some remarkable net exchanges, we really are. 18, 17. Look at this again. Chen Long just waiting for the shuttle to come out of the tumble before he played another excellent net shot. Oh, brilliant. Well, he sort of chopped across the shuttle there. 1917. Take a bit of pace out of it to keep it in. That is a fantastic shot. So two points away. From beating the number two seed. The four-time former champion. One point away. Three match point opportunities. first opportunity. So symmetry in the scoreline, 21-17, 21-17. And Chen Long into the semi-final once more. 54 minutes for that victory over last year's beaten finalist. Having to come from behind in both games, Chen Long. The and final we'll rally. Have a safe journey home.
for their confirmation. Of the score. 21-17, 21-17. And Chen Long will play against Victor Axelson in the semi-final tomorrow. So, time for us to reflect back on quarterfinals uh, day. And Carolina Marin, the Olympic champion, her resurgence after her knee surgery continues. But my goodness, didn't she have a battle today against the 17-year-old Ansi Young, winning through in an hour and 20 minutes. 21-18 in the deciding game. Then it was women's doubles and the defending champions and three-time world championship silver medalists, Fukushima and Hirota, are needing three games to beat the recent winners of the Korean Open, Kim Kong from Korea. Tai Su Ying, the world number one and defending champion. Well, it was most extraordinary opening game because she was seven love up and nine three up before being down at the mid-game interval and then finished off the opening game with six straight points, beating Ohori, the left-hander, in two straight games. Then it was men's doubles and it was the World Championship silver medalist from last year beating the Asian Games silver medalists, Elfian and Ardianto. Just 35 minutes needed for that one. Then mixed doubles and uh, Seo Sung Jae and Ache Yu Jung have reached their fourth consecutive semi-final in four tournaments played with victory over the Olympic silver medalist Champing Soon and Go Liu Ying. Victor Axelson, it was a very edgy opening game against Anna's Antonsson, the all-Danish affair, but the 2017 world champion uh, winning through 24-22, 21-12 in the second. Then it was another men's singles, Kenta Momota, the defending champion and two-time world champion. Well, he was a game in 16-10 up against Rasmus Gemka. We never thought it was going to go to three games, but all credit to the Dane for fighting all the well. That lasting an hour and 24 minutes before last year's winner came through 21-13 in the deciding game. And as we've just seen, Chen along from China has just recorded his eighth win against Chou Tian Chen in their eighth meeting, winning 21-17, 21-17 in 54 minutes. Semi-finals tomorrow in less than 10 hours, about uh, nine hours, 50 minutes. It's 10 o'clock in the morning for semi-finals. That's 0800 GMT. From all of us here in Ordensert, we'll see you later this morning. Bye for now.